We need to figure out today how to make Carbon Fiber Peak stand up to basically be a scuba tank in front of the customer and teach them how to print it and hope it works. It'll work. I know it'll work. We'll make it work. Really fine. So this part is actually uh, really stressful because it has to withstand so much pressure. I'm confident in my abilities, but I want to bring in Rob too because I think two heads are better than one. He has a lot of experience in this and I've never done anything like this. So Rob, do you want to help me chop up this, this print? Absolutely. Before he comes in any minute now, we have no idea when he's going to show up. He might just walk through the door now. So why don't we go do that right now? Sounds good. Okay. All right. brought in and we're about to test it on the pressure system. We're gonna run about 80 to 90 bars through it and the part eventually will be 240 bars. So it's uh, several thousand PSI. We're gonna see if the layer engine can actually handle it right now. All right, we'll so get... we're at over 90 bars, yeah. almost about 90 bars. And it's holding strong. It's all right, we're gonna go up in pressure. and we turned the bars up as high as we could. We got up to about 90 bars of pressure. So this is awesome, it worked out great. That layer awesome. on the Z with the carbon fiber peak is just out of this world. Good solid Z axis work and good the carbon, carbon fiber peak. That's yeah. it, the carbon fiber really helps with the Z axis. So is this a success? Yes. Nice! Yeah. Yeah. That's freaking awesome, <laughs> nice one. We just finished. We had a great, successful test of the pressure part. What do you think, Cole? How I think they, it went absolutely go? fantastic. First print came out exactly the way he would want it, hoped for, and exceeded his expectations. What's up, guys? So, if you're interested in these materials or you want to get your hands on something real, we've actually created these sample parts. So, if you want a sample material or something to feel what our filaments actually feel like and compare it to something else, just let us know what your application is, what you're actually looking for to use the materials in your business. We can send you some actual physical samples that we've got here. 3D um, printing, man. You're not high temp 3D printing, so you have a burn, burn, yep. burn, 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 burn. If you're not covered in burns, Debo, you don't know what you're doing. Are you burned up? I learned my lesson a long time ago. Yeah, I just passed that six months ago. Carbon fiber, nylon, very strong. If anything, we're just gonna see how much force it can take. That's like inside there. And in the back here, there's another blade that I plan to mount a smaller brushless motor to have this run in conjunction with that one. Wow. Oh, this is incredibly powerful. It's one of the motors that would power a very large area of drone. It's incredibly dangerous, but that's why we have to print, we print these shrouds so if they explode, they'll be contained. There's no front shroud yet, but it should be a huge amount of power. Put it on a skateboard. Instead of trying to like just fish out and get the hose wet by trying to run water through it, I just reversed the shop back and sh sh shook the hose, made it straight, and <laughs> shook the hose. And it did, it blew everything out while keeping it out the window. Okay, okay. that improvised overcome. And that's what you do when you clear out a shop vac. That's the worst thing to do when you. <laughs> What do we 
got today? Shares. Oh, oh shit. Can I put this in my car instead? Then I'll put my car seat up here. Oh! I want one 3D printer on my sister list. And you just leave me alone. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you, guys. Yeah. <laughs> that's so sweet. Thank you. Thank you, Wendy. Um, thank you, Patrick. Uh, yeah, thank you, Patrick. I'm Patrick. <laughs> I'll have Patrick. I want to see how he reacts. So you know how we just got these? I was always wondered how hot high the humidity was in one of these uh, machines. And I was worried because we always have to dehydrate our filaments. Turns out <laughs> relative humidity right now on, well we got a couple of 49, 47. And I just threw this in this machine, even with some of the doors open, and it's down to 36. Turns out inside these machines, when the temps up, the humidity is far lower than the outside environment. And that's interesting to me. And I'm sure there's going to be a lot of viewers out there that are probably like, well, that's obvious, but it wasn't me. All right, let's see what's in this one. Oh, here. Oh, a 16-piece nylon spring clamp set. That's so we can take more beautiful photos and videos of all the 3D printing stuff that we do. Anna. All right, you're more of a man than I am. <laughs> <laughs> you win. Oh, no, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. See, I'm going to win. Yeah, Daniel, press, stop. It's like that. <laughs> How many is right, on dude, your hand? I can't even watch this. <laughs> So if you've got a fun mat, if you've got a machine, you got a question or whatever, just go ahead and hit us up and we'll see what we can do to help. Have a great day. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next episode.